Hello and welcome to the Japanese qualifying session here for the race on Sunday in Suzuka. So we have a 62% chance of rain in qualifying and it has been it is raining. We have a 62% chance of rain in, for the race. It could be the other way around, I can't remember. But we couldn't have Ralph Schumacher that was on pole. He's been beaten by both the Renaults on the Bridgestone tyres. Pizzichel is currently on pole with a 138 dead. He's full second quicker than the rest of the other people, which is quite remarkable. Montoya has just slipped into second place. The Obli's only a tenth behind because he's just gone out again and he's now a tenth in front. And there's not much action going on at the moment. Got 35 minutes left of the session. All there's a few changes of position there. Uh, John Lays has gone into seventh place. I think that was Mark Webber going up into tenth place in the Sauber. We've got half an hour left in the session. At the moment, it's one Pablo Montoya on pole, Fisichella second place, Button in third, Schumacher fourth, Poffin Zabu was about Keller in fourth, Schumacher fifth, though sixth now because Hill has just passed him. Schumacher currently in 11th place in the Arrows. He's got two more time laps to do then. Mike Schumacher 6th at the moment. And he is going to remain in 6th place unless someone has beat him. Mike Schumacher is now in 11th. Then we have the Panis is in 10th. Alesi, Matsukane, Young, Schumacher, Hill, Barrichello, Button, Fisichella, Montoya are the rest of the field. Now De La Rosa, then very few laps for Pedro De La Rosa. He's not even going to complete the uh, remaining laps because he's going to run out of time. So five laps for Pedro De La Rosa. He's in 11th place. He's just gone out again for the final couple of minutes and he stays in 11th place. But it's going to be one Pablo Montoya on pole position for the Japanese Grand Prix. Fisichello is going to occupy the front row with him. Sato Alonso, Frentzen. Bertie, Raikkonen, Corfide, Verstappen, Weber, Ralph Schumacher, De La Rosa, Panis, Eliza Matsukane, Young, Schumacher, Hill, Barrichello, Button, Fisichella, Montoya as we head over onto a very wet Suzuka circuit. So the 62% chance of rain has produced rain for the race. We are looking at perfect camera angles there for the very on a very wet track we are about to go racing here but they are under the grid starting order and they are away Fisichello with a very shaky start but it looks like he's going to get in front of Montoya very easily so Fisichello takes the lead as they go around turns one and two Button takes a little knock on Montoya but it's going to be Fisichello that's going to get away as they go through turns three and turns four for a couple of the greatest corners of the calendar. Almost Silverstone-esque with the Maggot Beckett section, this complex of corners. Turns three to seven. We've got the slow-mo of all the drivers. Ralph Schumacher side by side with Verstappen is going to touch a little bit, but Verstappen is going to be, be in front. There's both Saubers, Coulthard, Frentzen, Sato. Bertie Alonso is bringing up the rear. I don't think anyone retired on the starting grid, which is very good. But it's going to be Fisichella coming in the lead as they go up. I forgot what corner that's called. Dunlop. Possibly. Round Deng the 1, Deng the 2. Quite flat Deng the 1, but Deng 2 is a breaking point. Button Hill, 3rd and 4th place in the Jordans. It's uh, Linus Dern with the own nose arc effect with both Ferraris 5th and 6th round the hairpin and down towards Spoon Curve. 6th place Michael Schumacher 7th, Alex Jung 8th is Jean Lazy, 9th is Matsukane in the BAR and 10th place is Panis in the final point position at the moment. Neither Jaguar or Arrows are going to be scoring as we Got on board with Luciano Berti. He's going towards the the curves. What's going to happen here? We've got oh, that's a fun, that's a big accident there from Berti. 
He has gone airborne. Hopefully he's all right. I think he's going to get out of the car all right. What happened here is going to have a little look down the inside of Sato. He just picks up the curb. He loses it a little bit. He's going for a half spin. He took too much curb going into Degna 1. And Alonso literally has nowhere to go. And piles straight into the side of Bertie. And that's both of them out before they've even started. Look, that'd be two less cars to overtake. And yeah, Bertie has gotten out of the car. The car's very safe these days. So that won't trouble them at all. As that was 130 on the gun round. Now through it round the Casio Triangle. There was a very tight chicane. There's a bump you've got to avoid there as you go to accelerating down to the balls to pitch straight. There's not really many straights in Suzuka. It's all pretty curved. This is probably the longest straight part of the track in inverted commas. The longest flat out section is the section where 130R is. But it is. Fisichella currently leading 20 laps round uh, Suzuka. One Palermo Montoya is in second place, third place is Jensen Button round towards Dunlop round this is turn 8 already 30 seconds into this lap we're already on turn 8 Degna 1, Degna 2 is turn 9 and 10 there's Luciano Berti's car they're taking a lot of curve into Degna 1 they want to take as quickly as possible under the track it's one of the early tracks it's a figure 8, eight track on, it's the only figure eight track on the calendar. It's one of the only tracks in the world with the figure eight. There's a couple of tracks. Like Fiorano, t the test track for Ferrari, that's a figure eight track. Down towards Spoon, Young in seventh place in the Minardi. Very hard break into Spoon. You've got a little acceleration point for the second part of Spoon. It's gear one corner tighter than the first one. Avoid the high curb there. And it's the Longest part of straight, even though it's not straight at all. We've got on board with Livia Panis as Pedro de la Rosa, who's got a bit of a gap towards Verstappen and Ralph Schumacher. Has to go down towards 130R. Weber is in 14th place. There is 130R. Moraikinen in 15th. The two Salvers have had four starts. 16th is David Coulthard. 17th is Frensen. And that is a very slow Takuma Sato, of course. Down round through the Casio Triangle and it's Fisichella leading. Pablo Montoya is keeping him honest and so is Button. The top three is slowly driving away from Damon Hill. It looks like the top three is going to be the top three. At the moment Toyota and Jordan are the only scorers in the top four, which is heating up tremendously that was the hairpin the tightest corner of the circuit heavy braking and Montoya takes a little inside line 60 kilometers an hour is very slow it's 37 I believe miles per hour down towards Spoon and Spoon 1 Spoon 2 Spoon 2 is a little tighter and then round down towards 130 ah oh, so much cord because it's got a 130 degree radius it is a fearsome bit of track it takes a lot of guts to go around there flat out it's also where the track passes underneath and button has a little look down the inside of montoya but the dunes took way too much curb going through the second part of the Casio Triangle and he's now quite far behind of Montoya. That is a lap around Japan. We're on board with one problem Montoya in second place in the Toyota and Fisichella has taken the fastest lap. Not sure what the lap is, it's faster than on 132.8, put it that way. Probably not much faster though since Montoya isn't actually that far behind of Fisichella. On board with a button in the Jordan. Third place for the Brit. Fourth place is the other Brit of Damon Hill. He's five seconds behind these top three. Young is quite far behind of Montoya and he needs to catch up with Montoya in the standings. 
them to consistently been the fastest drivers, but it's Ed Stella Rosa that's quite high up. Barrichello's in fifth. Michael Schumacher is in sixth place. The two Ferraris line astern behind Hill at the moment. Looking to try and pass Hill. There is Alex Jong. He's in seventh place. He's only scoring four points. He's going to drop five points on Montoya at this current rate. Looks like Montoya is going to put one hand on the Drivers' Championship already, which is a shame because a lot of the time the Drivers' Championship was decided in the final two race. But stranger things have happened. Round Spoon 2, a lazy in 8th in the Renault. And that's the two BARs, 9th and 10th of Matsukane and Panis. The final point scorers at the moment. We're on board with Panis now, going down towards 130R. Again, fearsome call of this. You can take so much speed into that, even in the wet, you take so much speed into that. It's even more scarier in the wet because you could just slide straight off and round Cassio Triangle. Very awkward pit lane to go into as well. There's Raf Schumacher, Wark Weber in 14th, Reichlin's in 15th place. Being dropped a little bit by the front three. Coulthard's in 16th place in the McLaren. Frenson in 17th. He is 5 seconds back, but he's 20 seconds back in front of Takuma Sato in his home track. BAR's turf, remember, is not BAR's turf, it's Honda's turf. Honda on the main supplier of the BAR team, it's Honda's turf, is the Suzuka circuit, their test track. Toyota are trying to spoil the BAR's afternoon on their home turf down towards the hairpin around the hairpin they go Panis and then it's quite a long bit of straight there's quite a lot of straight on this circuit especially in the second and third sector not many of the drivers are being are able to overtake anyone because of the uh, tightness of the Japanese circuit. We're caught nearly a quarter of the way through the race. I reckon first pit stops probably. They're one stopping probably around lap six to lap eight, I think. And, and that is a very slow Minardi of Alex Jung. Who reports on the radio, he's stuck in first gear. Which you don't want to be stuck in in this circuit because there's quite a lot of second and third. And there's a suspension failure for someone. I didn't catch the name. But he's, he's holding Matt Takane up a treat here. Letting De La Rosa get closer. It looks like his panis has dropped out because... Panis wasn't in that, so it looks like Panis' suspension failure. He took a lot of curb into that corner, and that is probably going to be what ended. And for good measure, De La Rosa was just piled into the back of Panis. <laughs> so it looks like Panis might have taken a little bit too much curb of Cassio Triangle, and the suspension's collapsed because of it. And Young is still holding everyone up as they go up Dunlop. It's like a rolling you, you gotta go past him and look at chicane there we go two of them have gone past and now Verstappen is going to be stuck behind him has to go through Degna 1 and Degna 2 and has to go down the inside oh Verstappen took a very wide line Schumacher trying to go down the inside of Degna 2 he's gonna easily overtake him there Weber's easily overtaking him Raikkonen don't hit him you I know you hit everyone but don't hit him he's gonna get stuck behind of Young is Raikkonen. We're just watching Young just get overtaken by everyone as he gets stuck in first gear. Why he just doesn't park it up, I have no idea, but Young should just park it up. It's not going to get fixed. He's done a whole lap in first gear. And it's quite entertaining watching him just get overtaken by everyone, to be honest. But it's dangerous just watching him go around in first gear as we go back on board with Fisichella we don't need we don't need to watch someone go trundle around the super circuit in first gear. Fisichella currently leads on lap seven and third of the way there. We're expecting two stoppers to be in 
between lap six and eight, uh, I reckon, with the one stoppers around lap nine to lap lap twelve, maybe even as late as lap fourteen, fifteen, especially in the wet. A lot of them are going to be running very long. They're using less fuel, so we're expecting them between probably laps nine to lap fourteen, fifteen, I reckon. But we're on board with Button in third place in the B, the Jordan, the Jordan, not the BAR, the Jordan. They used. He nearly had a contract signed with the BAR team, but Jordan have acquired his service. Damon Hill, sixth place, fourth, sixth place is in sixth gear. Fourth place is Damon Hill. Fifth is Michael Schumacher. Down towards 130R, oh, gear five, gear six. Even in the wet, they're going over 300 kilometers an hour. Gear seven, 300 and. 16 it just tips there before we go around for 130 oh, 314 for Barry Callum. Slight slipstream there from Michael Schumacher. How much curb they take so much curb into the Cassio Triangle. Jensen Button with the fastest lap of the race so far, he had the commentator saying. Physical leads Mon Pomer Montoya by six tenths. Button in the second behind. All these are eleven seconds behind them. Lazy is now in the middle of nowhere, 8 seconds either side. Matsukane in 8th place. Struggling to get a drive out of Cassio Triangle. Of course, there's a big bump there that you've got to avoid. De La Rosa is actually now up into 9th place because of Young's. And the Palace's dropout. Verstappen is also in 10th place. So, at the moment, um, the Jaguar is scoring 2 points. Ralph Schumacher, though, right behind Verstappen. Right behind getting 1 point. Weber is in a 12th place currently in the Sauber. 13th place is the other Sauber of Raikkonen. 14th is Coulthard. 15th French and 16th is the very, 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 very slow Sato. He's the only slow back marker because the other two retired. Bertie and whoever the other one is. Alonso like being back in the back market team Alonso 2001 he was with Minardi in the back market and now he's back market team in Toyota while the other Minardi and Toyota are just concentrating on Young and Montoya at the moment round the final chicane again very difficult traction zone coming out of the chicane we're on board with and down round the first corner goes Montoya and now that's Fisichella with the fastest lap of the race so far. Button is currently in third place behind the Montoya Fisichella. Got a hill 12 seconds back from these lot. Going through turn 6, turn 7. We're on board with Weber as he looks to be going into the pits for his first stop. I'm not sure if this is going to be a 1 or a 2 stop. Lap 8 is very, very borderline. Slowing down to 80 kilometers an hour into the pit box goes Weber. Poor parking, but it will do. Changing of all four tyres if you're going up and up and up. Where's he going to? It is not going. It's a 10.9 second stop. It's not going to be enough, I don't think. So he's going to. Pit at least one more time is the Australian. He's your first pit stopper. Round turn one and turn two goes the Australian. And now we go back on board with Fisichella in the lead. He's, going, he's already lapped Sato. One to, oh, Sato. And he's going to get in the way of Button. So looks like Sato's gotten in the way of... Montoya, now he's getting in the way of Button. Button, well, that was a bit. Not sure if that was a bit naughty from Sato, a bit naughty from Button, but Button. But Sato was two wheeled there for a little bit. Quite good skill from Sato to manage to get all four wheels back onto the ground. But he's lost two seconds alone to Montoya. Lost around four seconds to Fisichella. And that is Matsukane on board with. with Della Rosa and the reason we're on board with Matsukane is because he's complaining he's stuck in 6th gear 
It's got poor drive. It's just hit, been hit by... <laughs> so Tanner Rosa has been involved in two accidents with the BAR. He's taken both the BARs out. That's just unbelievable. I mean, both the BARs are retiring anyway. One was suspension failure, one was gearbox failure, but De La Rosa was just blatantly crashed into the back of both of them. How he's got a front wing still, I have no idea. That also puts Ralph Schumacher into 10th place into a point scoring position. He's right behind Verstappen at the moment in the McLaren. And there's De La Rosa, he's hitting both BARs. He's taking everyone out, just like in France. He's took out both BARs like he took both arrows out in France. On board with Barrichello, he's about to try and lap Sato. Good luck with that, Barrichello. Looks like Schumacher's managed to get in front of Barrichello because Barrichello's struggling to get in front of Sato. Ferrari are getting ready in the pits for someone. One of the Ferraris. Hill, Button, Jordan's getting ready for a pit stop. Again, don't know who it's going to be for. Round the Casio Triangle. Button is going to go into the pits. It's going to be for Button. Round... And he's going to go down to 80 kilometers an hour. Is the Brit, is the first pit box, Montoya is Jordan. Montoya with the fastest lap of the race. Raikkonen's going to go into the pits. Well. Is it going to be Schumacher going into the pits? Or is it going to be Barry Keller? No, it's going to be Barry Keller going into the pits. And he's not being released because there's still Phil being put into the car. Out goes Button, 15.2 second pit stop. He's going to come out right ahead of De La Rosa and away goes Button down towards the first corner he's well, he's come out in sixth place that's how much of a lead he has got quite a few wet races have helped Button in the, with the Michelin tyres the Bridgestone tyres Bridgestone tyres Lazy's in fifth place in the Renault it's a very good race for Lazy, uh, the Renault at the moment Michael Schumacher in fourth Hill in third in the Jordan. Second place is still Montoya in first. Is still Giancarlo Fisichello looking for his second win of the season after Italy. Down towards 130R goes the Italian. And that was Zellerosa going underneath, you just saw there. Uh, down towards the Casio Triangle. It's a very tight chicane. It takes so much curb coming into that from the second part. We're on board with Montoya chasing after Fisichella down the front straight. Hill in third place still holding up Michael Schumacher. I think we're on lap 12 now. Montoya with the fastest lap of the race. The trading fastest laps of Fisichella and Montoya. Fourth Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari. Looking to do one on Hill, but he doesn't. Round the first corner and second corner. So far, I don't think there's been any on-track overtakes, apart from possibly a Ferrari. So this is pretty much like the first Japan race. Can't we just have France every single race? That was brilliant. Verstappen is in eighth. He's still got the arrows of Ralph Schumacher behind him in ninth. They're probably going to come under pressure from Barry Kello eventually. There is Barry Kello coming down the back straight. For a back front straight. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. Coulthard is in 11th place at the moment in the McLaren. 12th is Frensen. He has Weber for company. Both of them took quite a lot of curve. But Weber cannot overtake Frensen because Frensen's actually quite quick. Weber 13th in the Sauber. He's got another pit stop to make as well. So there, this is for position pretty much. Round and Raikkonen took so much curb into that chicane, and there is Sato parked up on the right side of the road without a front right, right tyre. It's going to be Button. Button, the bane of Sato's existence, pretty much. Round does not going towards Degna 1, and is Button just clearly, cleanly takes Sato out. So all of the slow cars are out of the race. <laughs> All been crashed out. Both of the uh, Minardis are out, in fact, and Button is just. We've had three people. Uh, we've had three people taken out. Two of them and BARs being taken out by um, Pedro de Rosa, and Button is taken out of Sato, and both um, Button and Michael Schumacher are pitting at the same time, which is 
quite David remarkable. And that's David Coulthard stuck in fifth gear now. He's currently running in 11th place. McLaren are already in the pits. It's going to be for Coulthard, unless Verstappen's out and going into the pits as well. At least he's going to get quite a lot of speed going down. And that is a pile-up between the two people that are in the walls, Button and Pedro De La Rosa. Not sure what's happened there. Was, was De La Rosa trying to go for a pass? Was... I've no idea, but 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 Button was sideways, and De La Rosa's looking for revenge by the looks of it. I'm entirely not sure what has happened. I hope we get a replay of that because it'd be rather interesting to see how Button ended up sideways and De La Rosa going round the Casio Triangle. Go around the fast section now. They have. Um, Ralf Schumacher coming up behind him. Fisichella is going to get ready for a pit stop. The race leader. Round towards Degda 1. Degda 2. Is Berger De Rosa going to take it? No, he isn't. Still trying to overtake Button is De La Rosa. Uh, De La Rosa goes down the inside. Is he going to make the move stick on Button? The answer is yes. Button is struggling a hell of a lot. And I have no idea why. We're on board with Fisichella now. He's... Having all four tyres changed. Arrows are ready for a driver. I'm not sure which driver it is. I presume it's going to be for Ralph. It could be for French, and I'm not too sure. Down the pitch straight goes Fizzy. Second place. He's 21 seconds behind Montoya. There's Montoya in the lead. But Raikkonen directly behind. Raikkonen needs to get out of the way of Montoya. Otherwise, he's going to lose position to Fisichella again. Slowing down a little. He's slowing down way too much because Raikkonen just cannot get the drive off of that Degna 2. And he's still behind Raikkonen. Down towards Spoon. And Raikkonen's finally going to let the Colombian pass. I'm still waiting to see what happened between. Jordan and the Jaguar. I presume we're going to see either at the end of the race or at some point, but at the moment. Down towards the 130R. Montoya getting ready for a pit stop. Since Alonso's already out, Toyota coming out. Someone's lost the front wing. I didn't catch who. Coulthard is. In fact, that is Coulthard. So it was. So Coulthard, I presume, lost his front wing. He was stuck in a gear. I think he was the one that's stuck in a gear anyway. He's only just come back to the pits and he's lost his front wing. So Montoya is into the pits now. So those are. Those are drivers who have been in the walls and. The lucky recipient is going to be Frenson at the moment! <laughs> Out of the pits goes Montoya, 12 second pit stop for the Toyota. Fisichella has gone straight past. And he's got quite a healthy lead now, does Fisichella. Lazy has gone into the pits, round first turn. And the second turn. Again, we want to see what happens to Kulfa. There's two incidents that we want to see, Mr. Cameraman. Why aren't we seeing these incidents, Mr. Cameraman? Lazy's having all four tyres changed. He's going to come back out in sixth, probably. In fact, Hill, Schumacher, De La Rosa, Button all go past. I think Button's lost position to all these. <laughs> but I, I believe because of what happened to Button, he's lost position to them three drivers. De La Rosa's just gone into the pit. Button is in fifth in the Jordan. He's lost, he's lost track position to Hill and Schumacher. Unbelievably. So Button looking very comfortable for third place. He was keeping up with the top two. And now he's... Now behind Hill and Michael Schumacher. That's unbelievable. I mean, he was sideways. So, that's probably why. But, again, we don't know why he was sideways. Frenson's into the pits now. In the Arrows. 12th place is the Arrows. Is he going to come out ahead of Raikkonen? Looks like he is going to be ahead of Raikkonen, you know. Away goes Frenson. And it's going to be 12th place for the German in front of Kimi Raikkonen. That's quite interesting. 
for the German because he's now in prime position for if some if two people take each other out he's going to score points. But we've got six laps remaining. No, the friends in the six laps remaining at least. Not taking too many risks, his friends in going around the uh, first couple of corners. Still getting warmed up tires. There's Verstappen in eleventh place. Weber is in tenth. He's got Ralph Schumacher directly in front, who's currently in ninth at the moment. Round spoon one and spoon two. Just it's just called spoon. Spoon curves. Is he going to try and make a move on Ralph Schumacher? He's pulled out of the slipstream, or he's probably pulled out of the spray because it's quite hard to see these drivers but it's going to be Sauber readying in the pits for Weber in his final pit stop down towards Casio, the Casio Triangle he's going to take much curb Weber takes a lot more curb than Ralph Schumacher but yes Weber is going into the pits it's going to promote Zappen into 11th it might promote um, Frenson into 11th, but I'm not too sure. Barricade is in 7th. He's lost positions, I believe, to a lazy. He's in 6th. All these are 5 laps remaining. I'm not sure if anyone's going to get lapped now because the three back markers are all out. Button's in 5th. Schumacher 4th. Hill 3rd. This is going to be the, this is the main battle for the podium, but no Rover takes have really been done apart from Della Rosa overtaking button so I have no idea if her button's going to be able to overtake these lot is visibly quicker as you can as you tell from the first part of the race but it's just not it since pitting it's just not had the pace as button Michael Schumacher is in fourth Hill in third round down towards the final couple of corners breaks up quite a lot of speed this corner does it to encourage overtaking around the first corner, which is not going to work because you know it's a, it's a fast corner, there's not going to be any overtaking around the first corner. One Pala Montoya is in second place in the Toyota. Fisichella currently leads by two seconds. They got Kimi, they're going to have Kimi Raikkonen for company. Now, someone had trouble with Kimi Raikkonen, I can't remember who. Fisichella leads in the Renault. There's Raikkonen. Frenson's also going to be very, very close unless that is Weber. I think it might be Frenson. Weber would have gone ahead of Frenson, I presume. Yes, they are. Frenson is in 12th. Raikkonen is in 13th and the last at the moment. Raikkonen, the last driver. So we've had seven retirements on lap 17 of 20. It is Raikkonen going to cause problems for Fisichella? Not too sure. I don't think he will. Fisichella is going to be able to... Or well, not, because Fisichella has not had a very good exit from that corner. He's got to be careful as well, because Montoya is directly behind. Round the first two corners. Fisichella coming towards Raikkonen. Viking is going to be very slow around these corners and Montoya is going to be able to catch up quite a lot here. Fisichella just nowhere past Raikkonen. There is Montoya. He's two tenths, he's leaving left, weaving right. Fisichella leaves the door open. Oh, he just he had to be good break checked. Down round Degna 1, Degna 2 coming up now. Montoya still can't overtake, neither can Fisichella. Raikkonen will get out of the way of Fisichella. Will he get out of the way of Montoya? And the answer is he's going to have to go around the outside, is Montoya. That's what's going to happen. It's going to be a brilliant overtake if he manages to do that. That's, that's brilliant for Montoya. I mean, Raikkonen's a bat marker, so he should get out of the way, ideally. But that's, that's brilliant for Montoya. Down towards Spoon. Fisichella's not going to get um, held up by Heinz Held Frentzen now. Oh, goody. Down towards... The 130 R Fisichella comes the wrong way. Montoya is going to clearly overtake Fisichella. Montoya takes the lead, but he cannot overtake Frenson. Round 130 R. Montoya has not overtaken. He's overtaken Fisichella, but not overtaken Frenson. 
Fizzy and has it goes doesn't look down the inside of Montoya. What's going to happen? And Fizzy Keller now takes the lead of the race. Well, Fizzy Keller retakes the lead of the race. Montoya overtakes Fizzy Keller and then gets re overtaken. Frenton is now lapped and so, and so is lapped by Montoya as well. We gotta have a fight on for that final couple of laps like we did in Italy. Final two laps here Montoya in second, Fizzy Keller in first. Round turn seven and turn eight. That was a very opportunistic pass from Montoya coming down towards 130R and then Fisichella again a very opportunistic pass to get past him at the Casio Triangle but again because of back markers. More importantly Heinz Howard Friends and thank you Heinz Howard Friends for making this race interesting for once. Especially for the leaders because the leaders hardly ever battle. Fourth, fifth and sixth is still Hill Schumacher button. I don't think they'll catch up to um, Fisichella and Raikkonen, which is a shame because it will spice up that battle. Alesi and Barrichello are both sixth and seventh, very close between them. De La Rosa is far behind them, nine seconds in fact behind. Pedro De La Rosa is at a quite the race. In the walls with both BARs, in the walls with button. It's a good job that he's known in the middle of nowhere because he tried to take out Ralph Schumacher or the other guy who's in front of him. I can't remember his name. Uh, Weber is in 11th. He's 18 seconds in front of Heinz Held Frenson in 12th. And that's Fisichella in second place. One problem, one toy has managed to overtake Fisichella, but where? Down towards 130 yards. Oh, he's, he's not. He's not going to overtake him. Around. No, he isn't. That's all right. So it's going to be the Casio Triangle. What's going to happen here? Is Montoya going to take an opportunistic pass? He he tried. Oh, Fisichella got it all wrong. That's what happened. Fisichella got it all wrong. He's just blowing the chance of winning. On the second to last lap, he's got it all wrong at the Casio Triangle. He's had such the perfect race as Fisichella from the start. He's controlled the pace from the start and now he's just wasted it all away. He's two and a half seconds back. He's not going to be able to catch Montoya. Ten points down the drain there from Fisichella. Round turn... I don't know, seven, eight... Seven, that was. Hill round turn one and turn two. Still got Schumacher and Button for company. They're going around the complex. I don't think any of them are going to change. Fisichella is in second place. It's going to take Montoya mucking something up for Fisichella to have a chance of uh, being having a re-overtake. But I don't think that is going to happen. I think we're going to see Montoya easily take the race win. Well, I say easily take the race win. He's not led one single lap. Apart from when he pitted, he, he led that lap, but he hasn't led a single lap in this entire race. But it is the final lap, that's the most important lap, and he's managed to lead that lap. One part of Montoya comes round the final two corners, round the very hard traction corner to take race victory away from Fisichella, but Montoya wins! The Japanese Grand Prix for Toyota. Fisichella finishes in second. 3.1 seconds in front of the Italian. And it's going to be Hill in third place for Jordan. It should be Button in third place, but he's mucked up this race completely. Hill finishes in third. Michael Schumacher in third. Fourth and Button in fifth place. So Jordan's going to score a heap amount of points for the constructors. It might even put them in the lead. A lazy holds on to sixth place from Rumi's Barry Kello. De La Rose is going to finish in eighth. Ralph Schumacher finishing in ninth. And it'll be Verstappen in tenth place. 
as we're going back on board with the race winner going around Spoon I should also mention as well I said in the last race it was going to be Australia next I lied it's you know Japan next and after this uh, we head off to Malaysia for round I don't remember when 10 I think I'm terrible with numbers and then we head off to Australia for the final race outside of Europe and then we close off with the European Grand Prix the German Grand Prix in there somewhere I think the Belgium Grand Prix in there somewhere and there's one more race but we're talking in the future we're talking we're talking about now French Grand Prix is the other one Montoya wins the Japanese Grand Prix I'm blabbering out my arse now Wampala Montoya when we get the classified results which will happen now Montoya wins the Japanese Grand Prix Fisichella finishes in second place Hill third 30 seconds behind the top two in the end Michael Schumacher finishes in fourth but in fifth a lazy sixth Barrichello seventh De La Rosa eighth Ralph Schumacher ninth and tenth place is Jos Verstappen and the rest of the finishers Weber, Frentzen, Raikkonen the other lot was Coulthard, Sato, Matakana, Young, Panis, Bertie, Alonso, all of them retiring. And now we're going to talk about the individual races. I can't remember who took fastest lap. I think it'd be Montoya. So he's got Paul fastest lap and race win, but he only led three laps. Of course. Uh, 138.7 was uh, Fisichella's fastest lap. I can't, can't remember what Montoya's was. Damon Hill somehow might finish third because of Button's... I say stupidity, but you know, all of them with an average speed of 200 kilometers now is quite. A, that was quite a fast race to say it was in the wet. A lazy finishing in sixth, Barrichello in seventh, eighth is De La Rosa, ninth. Ralph Schumacher two points for the Arrows team and one point for the McLaren team was the offs for Stappen, and then the rest of the field Weber. Uh, Frentzen, then Kimi Räikkönen, who didn't crash in turn one, surprisingly. Coulthard retired with gearbox issues on lap 12, so we didn't have a retirement after lap 12. Sato, Matakane, and Young, and we will see Panis as well, we'll see the other two, because they both retired on the spot. Now! Promise you replays. Here is the replay of what happened with Button. Finally, we get to see what happened with Button. So, De La Rosa goes down the inside, side by side, and Button literally just lost it off the curb and then got creamed by De La Rosa. We're going to see what happened with Coulthard now. Please, because it was interesting. There is Coulthard. We're going to see what happened to Coulthard. He actually lost his front wing ages ago. He is going to get taken out by his own teammate. And there goes his front wing. So he got taken out by his own teammate. Thank you for watching the Japanese Grand Prix and goodbye.